We're getting fezzy wigged. Hi, it's Brain Muffin, also known as Brian Lape, back with another beer review. Up today is my favorite Sam Adams end of year holidays beer from Thanksgiving through New Year. It's available in the winter packs. It's been, I don't know, 20 years I've been enjoying this beer and it's great. I really enjoy it, really like it. And it's like I said, it's my favorite of theirs. I have some other holiday beers from other breweries that I like better, but this is a very good one. It's its own style. It's not so clinical. At least it doesn't, to me, it doesn't feel so clinical. It has nice caramelized coloring, nice light brown head, you know, lots of caramelization in there, caramel malts, some spiciness. Ale brewed with cinnamon, ginger, and orange peel, and you can smell all of it right on the nose. Spicy and bold, very good. It's a nice for sipping, sitting around. I have it in a, uh, in a tulip glass on purpose, basically because the other glasses are dirty, but also because it just, it's like a non-Belgian Belgian. It's not a Belgian beer, but it has lots of flavor and characteristics as if it were a Belgian. Nice, like you see, nice dark coloring. Mmm. Good. You know, I'm going to raise mine. I gave it a 4 last time I checked it in untapped. I'm going to get a 4.5 this time. It's just, it really deserves its place in my heart. Other ones, nice finish, not very bitter. This has been sitting out a while. It's a good temperature. You can have this with just about anything, um, even sweets. You can even use it as a, as a sipping beer after you've eaten and you've had your pumpkin pie and your whatever, uh, or your sweet potato pie. The spices in that, the cinnamon, and those things will, will contribute. You can easily have this with your meal. I personally find it a little on the heavy side. It's only 5.9% alcohol. But for me, the flavor, and I don't mean heavy as in it's full of calories. It's just the flavor profile is quite heavy. So if you're having, say, especially if you've deep fried your turkey or you're having ham or smoked ham or ribs or any kind of heavy flavored meat, um, this is going to kind of clash a little too much and so I wouldn't have this necessarily with a meal unless I was eating say maybe some light fish and some maybe some garlic scampi or something like that where the flavors are a little bit lighter you know I, it's hard for me to pick out the orange peel it is there but it's very subtle it's about mid mouth but the cinnamon is definitely right there and that's what I like mm. but it's I mean it starts nice and I got a little bit of mustache that time Starts nice. There's no surprises. It's smooth and bold. You know, they say bold. It's bold, I guess, for a Sam Adams beer. It's not bold for a stone or anybody like that. But um, great. This is a really good holiday beer. I look forward every year to when this comes out. If they sold this in a six pack, I'd probably buy it. But I don't want too much of it. My problem with their um, their variety packs is they only have two of everything, and they have two of the Sam Adams Lager, which is the one I, the most the beer I don't like at all. At some point, I'll do a review with that one. Probably give it like a two. It's supposed to be a Vienna style lager, and it's horrible. It, it's way too bitter. Uh, they have the dark colors, but it's just, it finishes wrong. It starts wrong. It's a horrible Vienna style lager, and I wish they would just stop making it. But uh, the Sam Adams Light, though, is pretty good. Anyway, this is my, like I said, this is my favorite holiday beer from Sam Adams. They have a couple other ones, and I do like the Chocolate Bock and the Chocolate Cherry Bock. And the Chocolate Cherry Bock, when they used to make that, that is a really good dessert beer. It's real syrupy and, you know, with the cherries and stuff. And, yeah, just sit around chatting while, while all the food you had, you know, or just, just chatting around with family and friends, sitting around the fireplace. I mean, it, it's kind of like that kind of a beer. So is this. But, oh, it's really good. All right. So enough about how much I really like it, Old Fezzy Wig. I give it a four and a half this time, just because there are other holiday beers I like better. Uh, which I guess we're probably getting into the holidays. We probably ought to do some several beer reviews of the holidays. Thanks for clicking like. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for your comments. Thanks for stopping by. If you have a question about my T-shirt, please see it in the description below. IncarnateStudios.com. Get your own. See if you survived. Get all they've got. All kinds of parodies of things, and yeah, those guys are great. Uh, I can't speak enough. I mean, they're, they, I love it. They, whatever their opinion is, eh, whatever. You know, if you don't like it, then that's your problem. 
But anyway, so do you like Old Fezziwig? Not old, not like Old Fezziwig. Have it, don't have it. Don't like that it comes in a pack with a bunch of beers you don't want and need some singles or whatever. Hey, let's have that discussion. Thanks for stopping, like I said. Thanks for stopping by and keep on tasting. Go lay down. You went out less than half an hour ago. Lay down does not mean go downstairs and get a ball. Go lay down. You're panting as louder than I am. Go down, Ellie. Go. Get Drink some more water. Okay, can we do this?